Good evening and a warm welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shrija Sharma and I'm your moderator for today's event, Envision 2020. This is Sankara I Foundation's first of a series of virtual events planned under the SEF Envision label. And we have an exciting program laid out for you today. The Envision series aspires to inculcate the spirit of giving to today's youth, as well as everyone else, regardless of age, gender, economic strata, or geography. We are planning to deliver great programs by bringing together renowned philanthropists, world-class entrepreneurs, thought leaders, big enterprise CXOs, and some of the most great minds. Amit Chandra is the Managing Director of Bain Capital. Namaste. I want to thank Dr. Ramani and the entire Shankara team for the opportunity to address this illustrious group on the occasion of Envision 2020. Firstly, Archana and I started giving at an early age, around the time when we got married and had pretty much close to nothing. We started small but inculcated a giving habit into our lives. We were clear that we were where we were because of extraordinary privilege and the generosity of others. If it wasn't for scholarships funded by people we didn't even know, I wouldn't have had the privilege of higher education that I got. So I asked myself, why as individuals should we not start early and education seemed to be a perfect place to begin with. We didn't want to overanalyze things by asking too many questions. And so in the early years, simply wrote checks that we could afford to reputed organizations. Over the years, as our income increased, we basically started doing more and eventually started giving even more of our time to the organizations that we cared about. At some stage, both Archan and I had inflection points where we decided to materially step up both our time and monetary commitments to the social sector. Archana decided first to move full-time into the sector, first into mainstream education and then into working with special children. Interestingly for me, my first board was not that of a bank or a conglomerate or an IT or a pharma major, all of which would come later. It was Akanksha Foundation focusing on K-10 to with children from the slums of Mumbai. I consequently joined the board of Give India. Only after I joined the board of the bank I was running then, DSP Merrill Lynch. The first learning is that unless you experiment, you will not really learn. Most people land up suffering from analysis by paralysis. While it is important to be thoughtful about one's choices, the best learnings really come from experience. Second, the best organizations are the ones which combine head and heart. For us, that has meant going beyond anecdotal backed giving to looking for NGOs like Shankara, which have exceptional leadership and very solid processes and outcome metrics. Third, as you increase your giving, you have the opportunity to make it more strategic around things you want to solve. For Archana and me, this has meant looking to go deeper into a few verticals and understand them better. It has also meant looking for multipliers and investing in them as a way to get our money to travel a distance. A good example of this is the Shankara model, which is self-sustainable, where every patient who walks in powers the vision of many who cannot afford it. And all our money essentially goes into CapEx. The fourth, and next learning is that there is great power in collaboration. The human tendency is in wanting to be unique. However, the best results are achieved when we all come together, all of us like-minded individuals working towards a common purpose. Social sector problems are actually much bigger and complicated than business ones and in fact require collaboration. Nearly all our projects are with active collaboration with international foundations like the Gates Foundation, Central Square, Edelgave and many others. And it's very important to design them that way. The upcoming Panvel Hospital is one such example where we are, which we are doing with Rakesh Junjunwala. The fifth and final learning I would like to share is that of aspiration. 
we have clear goals, targets and aspirations for everything in life. But when it comes to philanthropy, we often do not set them. We ask ourselves why we should not push and hold ourselves accountable for these goals. After all, we are stakeholders in society and it nurtures us. Even more importantly, there's nothing else that gives us more joy than helping others. I thank you all for supporting Shankara in his journey to provide sight to a million people every year, those who are less privileged, in a highly sustainable manner. I know that working together, we will all make this amazing feat happen. May God bless you all with good health, happiness and accomplishment in the year ahead. I'm sure it will be a far better year than 2020 was. Namaste. Thank you, Mr. Chandra, for sharing your experiences. You've touched upon one of the core tenets of giving, which is to ensure that the cause and the organization are able to hold the high bar for impact and expectation.